Governor Gavin Newsom looked to the future of California tonight in his state of the state address. Yeah, with the pandemic fading, California is facing a new crisis, surging fuel prices. It was one of the topics at tonight's address. Well, KKL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here now with details. And Tom, a different message tonight from the governor. Absolutely. A different message, a different crisis, unfortunately. What a difference a year makes, right? Last year's speech was a haunting scene. The governor was at an empty Dodger Stadium. The empty seats represented COVID deaths. This year, the pandemic took a backseat. Now it's a war abroad, creating a fuel crisis here at home. No state took bolder steps to to protect public health and human life over the last two years. Governor Gavin Newsom on his handling of the pandemic. Just one year ago, he gave his annual speech at an empty Dodger Stadium, the seats representing those who had died from COVID-19. This year, he was back in front of lawmakers in Sacramento. Our lockdowns, distressing as they were, saved lives. Newsom opened his speech referencing Ukraine and the rise of authoritarianism abroad and at home. Well, we might not have a strong man quite literally waging war in our country. We are plagued by the agents of a national anger machine fueling division, weaponizing grievance. The governor now facing a new crisis, the pain at the pump. With gas prices here, some of the highest in the nation, Newsom made this pledge. In January, we proposed a pause to the gas tax increase. Now it's clear we have to go farther. And that's why working with legislative leadership, I'll be submitting a proposal to put money back in the pockets of Californians to address rising gas prices. But even though the governor said help is on the way, he also doubled down on moving on from fossil fuels. One thing we cannot do is repeat the mistakes of the past by embracing polluters. On homelessness, the governor said the state is making progress, even as the homeless population continues to grow. Newsom reiterating his proposal to force those addicted to drugs on the streets into treatment. Many self-medicating with drug or alcohol addictions. And that's precisely what our encampment resolution grants and our new care court seek to address. With Newsom running for re-election, but with so far no GOP contender in the spotlight, the governor may be in a strong position. Loyal law professor and political analyst Jessica Levinson. This really struck me as a rah-rah California, we do better than other people. He hit on some big topics really quickly. He hit on the Ukraine, climate change, COVID restrictions, and the whole theme I thought was California does it better. And you kind of saw him moving into campaign mode with these slogans. The California GOP released a statement after the speech that reads in part, Gavin Newsom's glowing self-assessment lacked any semblance of reality. Make no mistake, despite his presidential ambitions, Newsom's a failure and no speech can change the facts. California today has America's highest unemployment rate, highest gas prices, and holds more than a quarter of the nation's homeless population. The proposed gas price relief you just heard the governor talking about will take the form of a tax rebate, according to his office. A spokesperson said they are looking to move quickly on this, but did not provide an exact timeline. Pat, back to you. Thank